quack, 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 quack. <laughs> All right, guys, I can't leave stuff alone. I'm back. I'm back today. I had to come back because I love this thing so much. Um, why am I back here? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I added four quarters worth of weight in the nose. And you can tell, baby little tiny, this is why I can't, I can't do things halfway. This is the old one. That's the new one, okay? I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it down two thirds. I'm gonna pop that off and then I'm gonna pop on one that's half size and then I'm gonna pop a third on. I just went to the third because. So what I did was I, I trimmed in some, some duck quack. So like 15 degrees that um, adds stability to a flying wing, the quack quack. So I added quack and uh, hopefully, hopefully that adds stability where this thing's not gonna death spiral out of control and, and I'm not gonna be able to look at that. That is, a, that is a sight right there, baby. That is beautiful. That is so cool, I love it. All right, let's get a, let's get a flight in here. Um, you know what, let me see real quick. I, want, I wanted to make sure that both fans, yeah, they're off a little bit, but I think that's normal. I think that's normal. I think when you when you throttle up like that, sometimes it um, it doesn't. I don't. I don't think that's how you calibrate it. You calibrate it by doing throttle up, and then you turn your transmitter on, and then you go down, and then back up. Or yeah, then it then it calibrates. But it seemed fine before, so everything's trimmed right. I just hope my my quackers are trimmed right. Uh, my duck bills. Um, they should be good. I have it on stabilize. Oop, that was not right. That was not right. All my switches are down. Okay. We have no wind. We have beautiful conditions. Um, golden hour. Sun's going down like zero wind. So it's making me nervous and that's why I'm stalling. But I want to get this done so I can go watch. We're re-watching Ozark from the first season. We did Breaking Bad, my wife and I, and now we're doing Ozark. Why am I stalling? Oh, all right, here we go. Let's just get a flight in. Fly this thing again. I'm gonna just chuck it. You have to throw it hard and you have to throw it like 10 degrees up. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. You need the duck bills, guys. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna have to get the hobby eagle going. It wanted to yaw to the right, and I saved it with the duckbill because it needs the yaw factor. But it flies awesome. So I'm basically stabilizing this thing myself with the old duckbillies. It's basically tailless right now, which is pretty unbelievable because all it needs is. Uh, the Hobby Eagle is the only gyro that I found. Oh, and it's flying so sick right now. Right on my CG bumps, guys. Oh, beautiful thing. Oh, this thing makes me shake. That's how cool this thing is. It, it's hard to explain this, this B2. Wow. So cool. Yep. 100% you, you need the yaw. So you can run the big stabilizer without the duck bills, or you can actually just, you, you just have to watch it because you're going to start to yaw out of control. I mean, this is a legitimate B2, guys. Look at the, it actually flies so good <laughs> with just me controlling the yaw axis manually. If I see it like skidding a little bit, I give it some adverse yaw. I put it back where it needs to go. Off throttle. Wow. And, and those little tiny, those little tiny drag flaps do such a good job. It is amazing. This thing flies better than the free wing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any fancy electronics in it. It's literally just an AR uh, 630, a Spectrum off the shelf. You just set it up and, and go with it. 
uh, program it yourself. I'm gonna make a video to show you. I keep saying I'm gonna make a video, but I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to program it. It's so easy. Spectrum stuff is like the best because if you have a spectrum transmitter, I'm getting eaten alive by these bugs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of a bigger clear tail on this and, uh, and rock that. Oh, so sick. Did you see that? Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of yaw. <laughs> that's more yaw than you need, guys. so graceful all right so that's what i'm going to do tomorrow i'm going to spend a little time and i don't want to go away from my spectrum but the hobby eagle is the only uh gyro system that i know has dual rudder uh stable stability it's getting a little dark and this thing is a stealth wing, so it's going to, look, going to be a little difficult for me to, uh, and there's zero wind to blow the bugs away. So I'm thinking about not doing a second flight. Oh my God. So cool. Oh, I got a bug in my ear. It's in my ear. It's in my ear. Help me. Someone help me. I have no one out here to help me. <laughs> I will save the plane before I... <sighs> All right. Let's bring her in. Oh, goodness. Look at that. I got to fly it again. I got to fly this thing again. I'm going to do a little more zoomage on the, uh, on the camera. Oh, so good. Oh, this, I always, I always want to say that like this is my new favorite, but I, don't, I have to think about it in the big picture. Like, what is something like this that just makes me so excited and so happy to fly it and just look at it, or is it like just performance, like fighter jet, like carving the sky and like. You know, it's a philosophical question, but, um, yeah. Um, so what should I do here? Should I attempt to throw it without a tail at all and just do the, the with the ducks? Uh, no, not today. I'm not going to do it today. Once I have the, um, a gyro, uh, dialed in. I tried to get the free wing gyro. I know you guys are going to say, oh, the new free wing gyro that comes with the B2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, uh, no bueno. It, I plug it into the rudder port, into the other rudder port. And then one of my rudder, one of my rudders is acting like an aileron. And that makes no sense. So that didn't work. And now I'm like, basically, I'm just, I'm doing the rudder part myself. And I have stabilization on the elevon control, which is fine. But I want, uh, I want it to, what am I doing here? Oh, I need this adapter. Look at this janky adapter here. This is another thing that scares me. I'm, oh, actually it was supposed to come today. I ordered like, like good ones of these. Uh, okay, one more quick flight. Gotta be ready to rock and roll with the rudder it wasn't last time it was it was just yawing this way and i'm like oh, i'm like how do i fix it <laughs> and then i'm like oh yeah i have rudders so this definitely needs you want rudder guys you want rudder okay um should i should i i'm gonna trim the duck bills a tiny bit more and let's see um all right, servo setup, not travel, I want sub trim, uh, right rudder. All right, I went up to 180. What? This is not, yeah, this one. Ooh, wrong way. 180, I 
looks about about the same okay okay let's go let's do it again I really don't want to crash this thing I don't even care if I crash it because I know I'm printing another one right away it flies so good all right let's do it let's do it again here we go ready gotta heave it look at that oh all it needed was a little a little splash of of left duck bill oh yeah it needs you need to control the yaw because once you put in the signal to turn left or bank it wants to yaw kind of the other way a little bit without the vertical tail which basically it has almost nothing right now um all right let me do this let me try and zoom in can you guys see that i think i zoomed I actually like just flying it with the with the rudder control. It's actually just it's more relaxing in a way. See? You actually do need to need to fly it with the rudder. It's actually really good. Little tiny tail. Oh, I'm so tempted, guys. I'm so tempted. Should I do it? I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I think. Let me go tailless. I'm scared. You guys are gonna be like, don't be a pussy. Do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna yank it, I'm gonna yank it off. Ready? Ching. Fuck it. Okay, here we go. Ready to die? I got about half a battery. What was that? Okay. No tail. Zero. Nada. Zero tail. Zero tail, guys. Zero tail. Whew, it flies really good. <laughs> it's basically no different. Wow, wow, and a wow. Oh my goodness gracious. No tail, guys. Biggest accomplishment of my life. 100%. This is the biggest. 100%. All I need is a hobby eagle. All I need is a hobby eagle to stabilize this thing. So, because I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm not trying to, like, show off. But, um, but for the layman uh, about to toss this thing without a tail, I would put a small vertical uh, acrylic. I give you the one to print. And um, so, it's tricky, but it's like, you know, it's like balancing on a bike. Oh God, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, flightless, I mean tailless flight guys tailless flight i did it it's a it's an accomplishment i have to say i know there are people out there who have made you know tailless wings fly um but let me tell you something that you may not be thinking about uh it's way easier to make a to make a a, a traditional lofted airfoil uh wing fly tailless because you have ultimate control over the wing profile 
And if you look at this, that this is my first non lofted um, airframe. So what that means is, is that I controlled every little nook and cranny of this whole thing without just using a standard airfoil shaped. So in, in, in CAD software, most, what most designers do is you use a sketch of an airfoil. That's a proven airfoil that you know works. Um, with flying wings, there's a certain type of airfoil that we use. Uh, other people, you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, so what you basically do is when you're making a wing of an airplane, you have a sketch of an airfoil like this, and you have another sketch at the end, and then you loft this to this, and then it's bigger to smaller. And that shape provides very good lift, very good stability, depending on your, your washout and your reflex and all the different little things you can change on that shape of that airfoil to make it work. This right here, my friends, is not, it, it's, it resembles an airfoil, but the, the B2, if you look at the side of a B2, it looks like, uh, what is it called? A Peridon Falcon or whatever it is. I don't know. I, I'm probably butchering the name, but it's a Falcon shape. Okay. That is not, it, it's technically an airfoil, but not really because it's sharp in the front and then it bulges and then it's more rounded on the bottom than it is on the top. So you're actually flying on an upside down airfoil, if that makes sense. But there's things you have to do to make it all work. I'm not going to try and bore you. I'm just... I did it. <laughs> I flew it tailless and it worked. And I am very, very excited. I'm going to be buzzing for quite some time. So uh, I'm going to stop this video here. It's getting long. I want to go watch Ozark with my wife. And yeah, this is going to be, this is done, guys. I mean, it flew tailless and uh, wow. Um, and I flew it tailless without flight control on yaw. <laughs> That's how good this thing flies. <laughs> so um, I'm going to shut up now because you are going to say that I'm, you know, being conceited and I'm trying not to be. Um, I just want to share my excitement with you guys. That's it. Um, I just, you know, I'm proud of this. So uh, fireworks. Um, yeah, I'll shut up and uh, I will see you on the next one. This is going to be available Saturday. Or actually, you know what? I, I might be going away, so I'm not sure if it's going to be available uh, Tuesday or Saturday. I don't know. Whenever I get it finished, it'll be done. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it.